this is the one time where I would say it doesn't matter that it's a blue coin banner. Go in. Like, even if you're free to play, no. go in. That's like my no. feeling. <laughs> JMO obviously feels differently. No, I'm I'm only teasing you. I, yeah. I have summoned on this banner. I haven't done a mul I haven't done multis on this banner, but no, multis are definitely on this banner, especially having a guaranteed featured unit. Right. So So if you guys haven't seen Teister's summoning video on the Global Gang Podcast YouTube channel. Here comes the soul. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so no, no no spoilers but dude seriously do you know how, do you know how painful that was to watch when i was 11 multis deep and didn't even have one copy of that unit oh man dude that was i watched him do it live and then i had Bring to watch it dude. again when i edited it and then i had to watch it again for quality assurance when it went up on the channel i watched that three freaking times the whole time not having a copy of that unit <laughs> 10 minutes after that video went up i pulled the unit <laughs> Rujo, did you see it yeah i did i, oh, I saw what you pulled yeah and i was like it's... why can't that be me well, I think it's I think it's Dokkan's way of saying, you know what, you spend way too much money on us here. We'll give you something. Do you feel we'll Do you feel the like they're apologizing for the Kefla problem? I feel like they're apologizing for Bardock, Kefla, <laughs> Gohan, freaking anniversary Gohan. after anniversary, future Gohan, Piccolo banner. <laughs> so I think they're I think they finally were like, you know what, give this guy a goddamn phone. Right. I, uh, I'm i glad we're getting this kicked off with a laugh because we're going to get into one of those Alec rants here in a minute. So, Oh, no. But before oh, we do that, man. foreshadowing. Um, <laughs> like, seriously, Rujo, um, value statement on this banner as far as, I mean, ignore the fact that it's a blue coin banner, like just for the value of the featured units on the banner. What do you think about your stones? I mean, have you gone in? Yes, I have. Uh, I went, I think... Three multis in, mm. I believe. Um, and I'd say, yes, yeah, summon because you get the guaranteed feature in your guaranteed slot. So you're gonna get one of those units. And then you know who doesn't love monkey? So you know, yeah, there's a whole bunch of monkeys over there. Especially oh, the one, the fused one. Yeah, the fused one. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice monkey. <laughs> it's <a> good monkeys. <laughs> um, monkey. So Tystra, the. Uh... The unit in question, I guess we're going to have to, like, stop calling it the unit in question. It's it's SS4 Vegito. Um, <laughs> Big salt. Yeah. So, as as somebody who has him with three dupes, what do you think of him? <laughs> um, so, he, he's, he's, he's really good. Like, there, there's no doubt about it how good he is. Um, I was actually checking out his stats a little bit. Because I haven't, I haven't played too much Dokkan since I did those summons. I know I'm such a good... Uh, content creator <laughs> <laughs> but um no with the fajito i was actually very surprised at its stats as close to like rainbow as he is like he's got 18.5k as his hp stat seventeen thousand as his you know attack stat and just about 9k with his defense which 9k is not great but for a unit like this that's stacked with HP attack and with what it can do for its, you know, passive, it's it's a beautiful unit in my opinion. I like it. And it's also non dokkan fest, so... Yeah, exactly. That's the thing that blows my mind, is that this is a non dokkan fest. Granted, we know that it's Super Dragon Ball Heroes and it's a once-a-year thing and might as well be a dokkan fest, but the fact remains is that this this unit can put out some numbers. There's no doubt about it. Like they, they knew what they were doing with these new releases. I agree. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. So now we're gonna get into the part where I'm gonna bitch a little bit. My, I, I love this banner. Don't get me wrong. It's guaranteed featured SSR, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's got seventy percent, or a seven percent uh, featured SSR pull and a three percent unfeatured. So. Two, of, two out of the three of those things are fantastic. The reason why the third thing, the 3% the unfeatured, is not so fantastic is because every single banner that has come out 
has been kind of an old banner for us. Like these these ones were JP only. We didn't get the banners until like this one, I think. And by that point, all of these units down here were unfeatured. Well, no, we had one with these guys. So I think we also had this 2018 one, was it? Yeah, it was. It was likely that. I it was one of. It was one of them. them. We haven't yeah. had. We haven't had the first banner, and then like we've had. This is the third time we've had the banner on global. Yeah. Um, yeah. But there are still units from this first banner that have never been a featured unit on any of these other banners. Sure. So pulling those units is nigh on impossible. Right. And that's that's one thing that I was kind of mad too. And you could you could tell in my video like I was ecstatic, but I, there was one thing I kept repeating to myself that I wanted out of everything was Boo Bobbity. Right. And Boo Bobbity, like I didn't get last year, I didn't get the year before that, and I'm still trying to get him. But this three percent bullshit <laughs> is is quite annoying. Like I understand. It's a big I... promotion, but... That's a perfect example of a unit that's never been featured on Global. Yeah. I will rub it in that I pulled him this banner. <laughs> on a, on, you're on my you're third an evil man, GMO. From the banner, while you're there with a 90% Vegito. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm not complaining about the ninety percent Vegeta. I'm. I'm happy with. I am out of four hundred stones. I got so much for my buck. Yeah. So much. So much stuff that's worth it. I have new teams I can make. You know, fantastic units. I got you know little Miss Thickums, so I can't complain about that either. But but that is the yeah. small like P that's under the like mattress right now. Yeah, is, no, he's is he's really good. Does that like he's cool as shit. I haven't used him yet, but probably. Well, I say I, I never used him. I'm probably never going to use him because you know. Okay, so but, um, trade feature when so I can give Ty this boobobity. <laughs> you're hurting him every day by not using him. <laughs> no, I like for me like in the in the unfeatured pool this time around. I I really want a physical cumber. Still don't have him. Um, yeah, you know, I wanted Supreme Kai. Sorry time, which, again, Alec. <laughs> you no, know, it's fine. Um, Supreme Kai of time. I did actually end up pulling one copy of, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and then I did get dupes for both the Zeno Goku and Zeno Vegeta. Both of those are are really good units as well. Mm. Um, but so you said you did three multis, Rujo. So 150 stones. Yep, I did. And Ty spent 400. JMO, how much have you spent? Like seven or like thirty-five stones or something like that. You've done seven not singles. E not, not even. even. Not even. Like <laughs> I, I've done four. I've done four singles. It's I've pain, done twenty it's stones. To hear that, I've done way. twenty. Hey, I made two SSRs <laughs> out of those twenty. Yes, stones. you did. Yes, oh. you did. That's awesome. <laughs> so I went. A little bit more than all of you guys. I uh, oh, we know, we know. Let Thirteen see. multis before I got one copy of SS4 Vegito. Mm. I still don't have a copy of Bardock. I don't have a copy of Dark Mask King. Like, I don't know if I should be salty about that. Like, but I don't go thirteen multis in any banner. Ever. Dokkan, that's toxic. You know, <laughs> and. This was because, like, my, my limit was I needed to have the great ape lead or the giant ape lead, whatever the category is called, and the crossover lead. I didn't care which one, it could have been Bardock, and I'd have been fine with that. Um, but yeah, it took me it took me 13 multis, and in those 13 multis, I think I have the Gohan at 69%, the Broly at 79%, uh, three dupes in Mira, a dupe in Toa, a dupe in Debura, and one copy of Demigra and Black Mass Saiyan. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. any of those dupes could have been <laughs> any of those other ones that I didn't have. I'd have been happy with that. Like I'm I'm not super salty about it because I did end up getting the Vegeta, which is, you know. But that was the whole reason to summon. Right. But thirteen multis is a lot for me. Pretty crazy. That's a lot for me by today's standards. Because yeah. I don't I don't spend money in Dokkan anymore. So, <laughs> what is that? That's that's sixty or no six hundred and fifty stones. 
Just uh, about. Uh, yeah. Or 13 multis? Yeah. Yeah, 650 yeah. stones. Damn, actually, I might wow. pass I might pass you, Alec. I might. Oh, yeah, you're going to go back in. I, I am going to go back in. I spent triple digits of real dollars on this banner. I don't Ooh. even think I spent triple digits of dollars on the anniversary or the worldwide celebration. Oh. Like, that's where my value statement is. These units come back once a year. And when all of those units that are up there come back, they will be at a 3% chance to get them. Mm-hmm. So you if, if you don't get them now, good fucking luck. It is a grind and a half. I was lucky last year to pull all the featured units, and that's why I want to go back in. It's just so that way I can get the Bardock and the Gohan. Like, that's really all I want left, except for the Bubabri. Yeah. yeah. So. Like, general... I think I want... Oh, go ahead. Uh, I said, I, um, last year when the Heroes Banner came around, I think I only did two multis, and I only pulled, uh, I think it was Great Saiyan 3. And then I was like, dang, I really should have pulled more because I wanted those Xeno Gokus and Vegetas and um, that um, Golden Cooler so badly. So Jinro put out a video a few days ago about what he called the biggest problem with these with this banner. Um, and his his biggest problem with this banner is that there's no farmable super attack for any of these units. My biggest problem with this banner is that if you don't whale out the first time a unit comes around, you're likely never going to see it. Yep. Like, yep. Three, a 3% chance of this pool, and this pool gets bigger every year. There were no unfeatured units, or no, there were unfeatured units. I guess this Boobabity's never actually been a featured unit. Um, but yeah, so down in here, you know, like all those units drop down. This pool yeah. gets bigger every year, and that 3% never changes. Yeah. What I would like to see mm-hmm. them do is keep the guaranteed featured SSR and then just change it to 5%, 5%. Like, it's not a huge upgrade in your chance to pull the unfeatured units, but at the same time, it at least gives you a normal chance at an unfeatured unit from the pool. Right. Yeah, exactly. So... I That's mean, what's just so funny. Like you would like, think that out of everything, they would want you to pull an unfeatured unit over a featured, but they push the featured units so much in these like types of banners. And I get it; it's to get more people to summon. But at the same time, like us who have wanted to like get all these other units as well, like we're hurting because of it too. You know, we're still putting money into this. Like we, we should get the chance to get that, you know, to get the poverty, you know, but yeah. I, st- I, I still can't play. But that will be, like, in the next survey, I'm going to be, like, change the Super Dragon Ball Heroes non-featured SSR rates to 5%, please. <laughs> please, everybody, everybody do that on the next yeah. survey, because it, it's only going to make it easier to get these units, like, especially if you're a player that just came in this year. Mm-hmm. Like, luckily, I started my account you know, during the four years, so I was able to jump in on previous banners that have come in. I think I've hit all three of the banners that have come in. Um, But, like, if somebody was to have just started, like, during the fifth year, and they're just hitting this banner for the first time, yeah, these units up here are phenomenal. They are. Like, the units at the top, the featured characters, they're phenomenal. But there are some really solid units, great support units down here in the unfeatured units pool. Um, oh, yeah. Darkness Toa, Supreme Kai of Time, oh. um, the Zeno Goku, Zeno Vegeta, they're all like super phenomenal support units. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And not to mention these three fusion units the Gotenks, Vajanks, Go and Gohonks, or whatever. Yeah. Um, they're all really good for what they do as well. So. But yeah, I, I don't. I'm outside of the Go Ten, the tech that turns into Super Saiyan Three uh, Go Go Tanks or whatever. Um, this one. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. think there's a unit in here that's really kind of like bad. Wow, what the heck just happened there? There we go. Okay. Um, I don't think there's really a unit in the list that's that's bad, and I wouldn't even say that that the Go Tanks bad. is bad. It's just he lacks yeah. defense. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that 
back when this first came out, I actually wailed on this banner. Not wailed, but like I actually took the time to invest in it because I think what was it? I think it was like the it might have been the 2018 one or whatever. I think it had well, it's well no, it's whatever which one had featured with Trunks and Gohan, the two Super Saiyan threes. There's there should be one where they were featured, I believe. Yeah, I think, or maybe I, they were never featured. I don't. Was know. it 2017s? It might. They, yeah, they might were featured been. on that, but we didn't. We didn't get the first heroes banner. So there's. But yeah, this one. I wailed on this one when it came out. The 2017 one. I ended the, up getting. I don't remember. Did we not? No. I mean, like, we them later on. Like, then. We like, did. We did get that one. We got. We, we got a weird banner set up because like JP had like four different banners before we got one. They had it for like three or four years before we got it. Yeah. I thought. I no, I think this one was the year when because all those units that are featured all got an awakening mm -hmm. that that same year, and that's when we got that banner as well. But mm -hmm. we got the banner a little bit later, so like they got it in 2017, we got that banner in 2018, and then yeah. we got the same 2019 banner, and then yeah. that's when, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they got like, they got this banner in November of 2019. We got it January of of this year because this was the very first episode of the Global Gang podcast. Was this banner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Nostalgia. Yeah. So we got this banner before. So yeah, they I, they're showing the Japanese text, but I don't think they're showing the actual Japanese banners for whatever reason. Because mm. I could swear yeah. there were other banners before this in Japan. Because we we waited for a long time before those units came. Yeah, mm -hmm. but like anyway. I remember dumping like 300 stones on this one when it first came out. But, but yeah, so, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's kind of like uh, a good example is like the world tournament. Like if you want to get if you want to pull an LR from the world tournament, you basically better just do the world tournament and place in your local and get the LR because mm -hmm. there that pool of characters that you're summoning with tickets on grows every single world tournament so mm -hmm. look at someone like truth who's chasing piccolo right it gets harder and harder for him every single world tournament to uh to to pull that unit that he's chasing because that pool just keeps growing and growing the same thing's happening here but at a smaller percentage chance pulling an unfeatured unit on this banner is almost equivalent to pulling an lr yeah yeah, yeah. And I just think that's wrong. I mean, because, like, these units are good, but they're not that level of rarity good. So, how about this, then? I, I guess we'll save it for another time, actually. What? No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's a safe space, JMO. You can share your ideas. Fine. <laughs> no, your opinions fine. suck. So, I'm pretty sure I'm when we did our first... I'm pretty sure when we did our first ever podcast, we kind of explained, like, the four questions that we asked every new guest. We kind of asked each other about that in our first episode. I'm almost pretty sure we did. Well, yeah, I mean, we, that's... like we like over time, we've discussed like what features we would like. So I feel like one way that they could definitely make world tournament better as well, just in like in the in the sense of where we're talking about the banners and stuff, is if they made like a kind of like a Baba Shop treasure section where you can exchange like ten gold tickets for units that you like, you know, that are in the world tournament banner. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, like specific units, I've, yeah. Yeah, like the LRs, for example, like make them cost like ten tickets a piece or something, but you can buy like five of them or whatever. So for those people who constantly save their tickets because they never summon on the ticket banners, they have something to look forward to if they're just not trying to waste their tickets to summon every time because they can't pull whatever unit that they want, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like that might make World Tournament worth farming again in a way. But because it'll make people want to do it, you know, if they're like, oh, well, I actually want to buy like this Gohan or, you know, like the Mystic Gohan, they can do that if they're in the treasure shop. But you still have to use the summon tickets that you get from the World Tournament, you know? Right. Like, I wouldn't be against that. Obviously, they'd have to make it cost extraordinarily a lot right. of tickets. It would probably but... be like 100 tickets for one copy of an LR. Yeah. You know? <laughs> You'd have to use like your entire world tournament stash of tickets for like two characters. Yeah, I mean, I'd be I'd be down for that though. I mean, right. In comparison to spending like eighty gold tickets and not getting the unit you want. Right, <laughs> you I, I agree with you. <laughs>
What is up, my dudes? If you like this clip, be sure to check out the full episode down below in the description. Also in the description below, you can find all of our panelists on Twitch, YouTube, and various social media. Be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when the GGP puts up some freshly squeezed content.